All right, we're at Walmart. It is a new Tuesday, as you all know. So let's see what is on the shelves. Not much. I'm kind of surprised that. I, that's why I don't really come to this Walmart here. But let's check. Book clearance DVD. Same stuff over here. But this is one that I came for. I didn't get to review this because I got to it later when it hit um, Peacock the other day. And I really love this joint. So definitely going to add it to my collection. I'll get into it a little bit more. But yeah, this is what I, one of the ones I was looking for. All right, let's go into the other section to see what else is here. There are a few new releases. One of which that I just bought that I'm looking for. Ooh, still a bit clutch. I'm going to go through here, but let me find what I'm looking for first. This is one of them. Night Swim. I know this movie got thrashed by critics, but I rather enjoyed it. It's a PG-13 horror film. I wasn't really expecting much. It's entertaining to me. And these are the kind of movies I kind of grew up on when I was younger. What got me into horror are PG-13 movies like this. So I enjoyed it, and I'm going to grab this $120. So. And this is another one that I came for. It's a wonderful knife. Man, I absolutely love this movie. And ironically, um, I'll get into it in a little bit, but definitely picking this up. Comes with a slipcase, of course, which makes me extremely happy. It's only 12 bucks, and this is just a staple for me for Christmas now. Christmas last year, so much fun. It has Justin Long in it. Love it. And over here is pretty much all of the standard stuff that's been released for a while. Um, no need to kind of go over it because these are at every Walmart, I believe. So, all right, so back to the steelbook section. Um, pretty much the same stuff, but since I didn't go last week, show a few of these off. The Mondo steelbook. I like this. If these were cheaper, I would get it. I think this is really fire. Dr. Strange. This is the best one. This Black Panther one is super hard. Got a slipcase on it, too. I don't know. I may swing back around for Black Friday and get it if it goes on sale. But 35 for movies I already have. Mm -mm. This is hard. Whew. Of course, Avengers. Man, all of these are tough, but I can't. Mm. And honestly, this is one that I've been eyeing for some time. I might just pick it up. I really like this artwork, man. This artwork is fire. And again, this is a movie that not a lot of people liked, but I don't care. You know, this is the shit that I grew up on. You know, these really <laughs> bad B movies that I can, that are still well made that I can find enjoyment out of. So I think I'm going to pick this up because this has caught my eye every single time I come into a home. Yeah. So, I am back in the car from Walmart. I'm going to go over what I just purchased out of there. And I also brought the joints that I ordered over the week because it's just easier right now for me to record in my car. I got a four-month-old who doesn't care about none of that stuff that I'm doing when I record. So, I'm just going to show you that as well. So, as I said, the first thing that I picked up was Lisa Frankenstein. This movie is a blast. I enjoyed the hell out of it. They really got the 80s vibe down pat. Like even the look of the film, the, the, the way the color grading is, everything is, is highly saturated. The brightness is up just like you would imagine in an 80s film. The only thing that I think was missing was a little bit more film grain to bring that effect to, you know, full reality. And I wish that the aspect ratio was different than what I saw and it could be different on the blu-ray granted I watched this film first on Peacock when it when it hit a couple of days ago because I really wanted wanted this film knowing that it was coming out on blu-ray today and I don't usually like blind buying stuff so I watched just to make sure I did like it and I really enjoyed it but I say all that to say maybe the blu-ray is actually in a cropped aspect ratio to kind of make it feel more cinematic instead of being blown up to to the uh what is it the the, the the 239 aspect ratio pretty much this the one that fits your tv but um other than that though it's a fun film it's going to be added to my list of like high school screams and it's about this girl named lisa who is kind of an outcast in her school and she in a sense brings a dead body to life who's her frankenstein and they kind of go on a slash fest to make him human again it's just really campy it's it's got a comedic edge to it but it still has a lot of a, a good amount of gore for a pg-13 movie especially so this is a fun one and i had to add it to my collection one of my favorites going on this year and as i said in walmart 
Night Swim. I know this is a movie that a lot of people didn't like, but again, well-made PG-13 campy horror films will always be my shit, period. Like, there are a lot of ones from the 2000s that I like. Um, when a Stranger Calls, Unborn, One Missed Call. Like, this movie fits all that type of movie. And if you are aware of those kind of movies and like those kind of movies, then I feel like you can find some enjoyment out of this because, to me, it's right up that alley. And, I, again... This movie is not the greatest at all, but I had fun with it. I was entertained. It's it's about this family that moves to this new house and their pool is like possessed in a way. And the thing I like about it is they actually give a valid reason as to why people would keep swimming in the pool. So I, that, that alone made me be like, okay, you know, cool. And I, again, I enjoyed myself. And it came to Slipcase. And the one thing I like about Blumhouse Slipcase Blu-rays is the detail. Like you can't see it, but if you feel Night Swim, it has a different texture than everything else. And even the words have a texture on it that are different. And I noticed they, they do that with all of their films, especially like last year, the uh, Five Nights at Freddy Blu-ray. Really loved that slipcase. And this one kind of does the same thing. So super glad that it came like this. And hey, I enjoyed it. Next film I picked up in Walmart, as I discussed, one of my favorite new slashes for the Christmas season is It's a Wonderful Knife. I absolutely love this movie super campy but also a bunch of good slasher goodness that you would expect from a film like this i'm glad to have it in my collection man it's a wonderful knife next thing i purchased at a walmart is this children of the corn steel book i already have the blu-ray with the slip case and i actually like that cover but this to me is just super ill i just love how this art looks um with a back you can't really see it because they always put this you know paper on the back but um another one kind of like night swim that not the greatest movie but i grew up watching this type of stuff this is like a creature feature of like the early 2000s and the effects are okay the, the it's a well-made not so great movie and i'm a i'm a fan of the franchise itself the first children of the corner is one of my favorite horror films ever so this is kind of a prequel to that I had to go ahead and grab it because i kept thinking about it every time i would walk into a walmart and see it so just going to add it to my collection and sell the other Blu-ray another time. So, Children of the Corn. So, this purchase here, I didn't buy today. I actually bought it last week when I went into a Walmart and I saw that they restocked it. And that is the Silent Night Steelbook with the slipcase. And I already opened it. So, boom. I feel like this is super fire. This is actually the one that I wanted when it released earlier this year. But... I don't know what happened with Walmart. Walmart said that they didn't have any in stock and it sold out online. I don't, I don't know. I wasn't able to get it. I just had to get the standard Blu-ray. But now that I have this one, I'm so happy because I just love these slip cases with steel books inside them. I just think that that's fire. So Silent Night, another Christmas action film of Joel's character who loses his son in a drive-by and loses his ability to talk. And he just goes on a revenge rage path to get the men who, who killed him dope movie so these next two are the joints that are ordered online keeping in line with the steel book thing sicario this is a movie i kept seeing folks find in the five dollar bin if you don't know walmart's across america have thrown steel books into the five dollar bin and they're actually five dollars and this is one of those that people have been finding and i wanted this shit so bad i said screw it because i couldn't find it in none of my bins so i don't know how people are getting lucky being able to find this a friend of mine has found a a, a slew of steel books in his five dollar bin lucky son of a bitch but i ordered this online it was only 12 bucks on ebay because it's a blu-ray steel book and i'm not a 4k whore so no disrespect to people who love 4ks but i'm just not like that i, I buy movies for the artwork and as long as it's in blu-ray format that's good enough for me like i said this is it does have a slip case on it can't really see it but sicario down there had to add the steelbook to my collection. Now the last joint is a DVD that I already had, but when I saw this version online, I said, yeah, I gotta get that. So what I'm gonna do is order the Blu-ray for it, but Disturbia, and this is the original packaging. It's like, you can't really see it, but like it's, it's kind of translucent, like not translucent, it kind of like moves a little bit. I forgot I forgot the name of what, what this material is. It's kind of like holographic, translucent, kind of moves with, uh, the uh the movement of the the dvd but this is one of my favorite movies from this period of time too and i had a regular dvd 
for this film. As a matter of fact, I think the film I had was like a, a burned copy or some shit. I remember I was going through my movie and I saw it. I was like, what is this? It had Disturbia written on it. So I was like, you know, let me make it official and actually buy rebuy the movie. And as I was looking, I saw the regular Blu-ray. It was just standard. And I was like, ah, I don't want standard shit, man. I just, as a collector now, I'm over just having the standard of anything. I, I, I at least need a slipcase at the very least to, for, for my collection personally. So I am a slipcase whore, you know, for, for, the, for the folks saying like, oh, you talking about 4K? Yes, I am a slipcase whore. Need that. So just bought this DVD and I'll probably order the Blu-ray online and just put it in here. Great film. I remember seeing this in theaters and having a whole lot of fun with it. It's about Shia LaBeouf. He goes on house arrest for punching a teacher and while he's in his house he just notices a guy that's kind of shysty and there have been like you know messages of, of, of reports of people disappearing and it's just him watching this whole time until it leads up to the third act which i think was super enjoyable so if you haven't seen that movie give it a watch you probably will like it if you're into thrillers this is an act, a horror thriller and really enjoyed it so i had to pick it up so those are all of the movies that I purchased this week. Let me know in the comments what you bought. Did you cop any of those Marvel Steelbooks? I think they're all dope. Let me know whatever I missed. And share your videos. Share your photos of the physical media that you bought. To keep sending a message to the companies that physical media matters. And the collectors are here to purchase it. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you like, subscribe. If you already are subscribed, thank you. And until next time, peace. Rap Nerd Productions, no capping, that's word to mommy.